I O. I was standing right there. She Hi, I'm Chris Forbes here at the Ohio State University Airport. Welcome to IMAX. You were washing your hands of the whole affair. What a drag! On today's show, we'll take off with aviation students from Ohio State's flight program. We'll teleport to Second Life with Sharon Collingwood and her women's studies class. And we'll find out what's hot and what's not in the world of metal casting. You know, it's rare that a university would own its own airport. But Ohio State University not only owns the airport, it's operated by their students, faculty, and staff. Let's find out why this flight program is taking off. Aviation, to me, is one of the most exciting things. Even the people that we have working for us that weren't originally in aviation tend to catch what we call the bug. This airport is what's called a general aviation reliever airport. We try to bring the non-commercial aircraft, the corporate aircraft and the smaller private aircraft, away from the larger air carrier airports so that there's less delay and less interference between the larger and the smaller aircraft. We are actually about the fourth or fifth busiest airport in Ohio in terms of the number of operations behind Cleveland Hopkins, Port Columbus, Dayton International. We have had Air Force Two in here and Barbara Bush when she was the First Lady. George Bush Sr. has come through not when he was president, but afterwards. Jack Nicholas is a regular because of this family being here in Columbus and he always uses the airport here. Harrison Ford flew his helicopter in here, uh, had to stop and get fuel. Elton John when he was in for one of his tours. And we've had the Rolling Stones blimp when it was coming through on their promotional tour stop here. So it's exciting for us because we have a lot of broad activity ranging from the smallest private owned aircraft to the flight training activity up through some of Ohio's largest corporations. Actually a couple that are in the Fortune 500 have their aircraft based here and use it as a hub for their operations. There's only about 25 universities around the country that own their own airport, and only about two of them actually operate it. And what I mean by operating is they staff the airport. They conduct all the operations like we do, the fuelings of the aircraft, the line service, the customer service. Of the probably 100 or so employees of the airport, about two-thirds of them are student employees going through an aviation program or other programs through the university. Flight education is a division of the airport, which is part of the aviation department within the College of Engineering. So our flight education is actually an academic program. There is an aviation major through three different colleges that the students can major in aviation and actually work toward becoming professional pilots. We do our primary training, which is for the private pilot certificate, in a Cessna 152. There are two passenger Cessna trainers. The Cessna 152 is very economical to operate. It was actually built and designed to be a primary flight training aircraft. It's easy to learn in, but not too stable, so the student has to learn to control the airplane. Once you get into the larger airplanes, then they are more stable. And the student actually has to do less work. So for primary training, we want the one they have to learn to control. When we come back, we'll do some flying of our own with OSU students in Second Life. 